Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another Three Musketeers deck inside of Clash Royale because honestly, Three Musketeers is one of the worst decks for me to play inside of the game. For some reason, Three Musketeers on Logbait, I lose every single time. Uh, for some reason, this deck in particular, which everyone seems to play, just does so much work against me. So let's practice it today. Of course, we've got Three Musketeers Pump, we've got Miner, Battle Ram, Ice Golem, Minion Horde, Goblin Gang, and Zap. And basically, what you're trying to do is get enough of a positive elixir advantage where you've got a du dual pronged assault going for both sides and uh yeah let's go and see if we can make it work inside of battle number one against yuri and uh, bring honor to my family's name like i said i am just not good at this deck for some reason it doesn't click for me and it ends up in some terrible terrible losses as we get ready i'm like trying to predict a minor onto my pump right here which is super aggressive playing my minor uh like that and as this all goes in guys what the heck is our opponent doing he's uh used a lot of elixir right there and not gotten anything out of it i'm gonna go ahead and cycle and use our miner onto this left hand side look at that miner go down just as it needs to i've got zap for all of this as well his miner's gonna get onto my uh musketeer but not before she does some brutal damage to that tower and uh, basically a perfect start to the game i guess we can just use our goblin gang against this miner and see if we can do something with it only gonna take out one goblin right there not the end of the world would have done a couple hundred damage so worth doing that plus we get the goblin gang push on this lane right here but uh, yeah, another goal where a golem going down the very back means I'm just gonna go ahead and pump up Why not just pump up once again and try to bring our lead even or to make our lead even larger right here I'm gonna split up the three musketeers To see if we can do something with these. I don't want to play them already, but I guess we do we have to there They go right now taking a look at what's next. I'm gonna play ice golem right here And uh, these guys really need to do work for me because wow this push is looking sort of brutal. Is that gonna kill these archers? Okay, guys, we are in some big, big trouble. Goblin Gang, please do me justice right now. Trying to kill this Executioner like our lives depend on it because, well, honestly, they do. And uh, let's get our m minion horde out right now. See if we can dominate this this mega minion. Ooh, we're going to actually lose two minions right there, which was brutal. But uh, why don't we just turn this into a counter push right now with a miner and see what we can do. We're going pretty aggressive with these plays right now, guys. I, I got to admit, we're being pretty aggressive. Minions are going in. Skeleton horde will be able to... Skeleton horde. Skeleton army is going to be able to counter that. And uh, yeah, might as well just pump up one more time, seeing as he hasn't played anything just yet. And uh, see what Yuri Lima is going to end up playing. Let's do this. Three Musketeers will be split once again. Again, if they have to guys getting ready with these in the very back almost played them on the exact same time which would not have been great the one thing is this executioner just completely dumps on us so we've got to be sort of afraid of that but here we go right now everything going in i'm going to play this miner right on top of this executioner right here i'm even going to play my zap spell to try to distract that miner or battle ram will connect onto the tower which is definitely fortunate for us but taking a look at this executioner guys we got to do something right here and uh, wow i'm going to play my ice golem but that Executioner literally just ended everything I've dreamed about my entire life. And that's going to be the end of tower number one. In fact, this miner is simply going to go ham on us. And guys, we got to do something about this. This is uh, this is not good. Dealing with this golem is not very fun right now. I'm going to use my minion horde after this miner sprints its way in here. Let's hope he doesn't have anything for it. He's going to play a zap way too early, so this barbarian push is about to go crazy. Guys, check out that tower right now getting brought all the way down to zero. And one counter push is all we need for the GG well played. But that was not the victory that I thought it would be. I thought that would be a little bit easier after we took that first tower down. We punished him so hard on that first push after he wasted a little bit of elixir and we got that elixir lead. Uh, but for some reason, tearing that golem down was more difficult than I anticipated it to be. But still, that's gonna be win number one inside this video. Let's go ahead and get into battle number two. All right, let's see what we play next. He had that executioner, which was rough, but there was ways for us to distract it, playing the ice golem uh, in front of our musketeers to make sure they didn't line up and get destroyed. Battle number two against Jeremy Balvin right here. Using his real name inside of Clash Royale, actually maybe Jeremy Balvin someone like some celebrity i don't know please don't destroy me in the comment section let's get into this using our elixir collector and to see if we can start up this lead so getting ready for the goblin gang or for the miner sorry i've got the goblin gang right here wow this is a, a little bit of a terrible start for us i'm gonna go and pop my miner up in front of this lumberjack and see if we can distract this executioner long enough Ooh, that executioner is still gonna rain some damage down on us all right we played six elixir he played nine elixir and we got the elixir collector down so for only 900 damage i think that's a pretty good trade getting ready to see what's next guys i'm gonna get my battle ram down and why don't we just go hard in the paint right now look at this push right here Minion Horde was a big mistake because that is about to get blasted by this witch. Actually, maybe these minions can do work right here. Look at the minions against this witch. Oh, the wizard's going to put in some work. But wow, we still did some crazy, crazy damage to that side right there, bringing it almost down to zero. Not bad. Not bad for the very first push of the game, guys. I'm going to get my three muskies ready 
Actually, no. We're gonna go ahead and go crazy with our Goblin Gang for this wizard. Surrounding him beautifully to make sure we only take one hit. I thought we wouldn't take a single hit, but it is what it is. And uh, getting ready for this Lumberjack, we've got our Miner once again to see if we can stave off the pain. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and split our three. Ooh, wow, that's an aggressive play right there with the P.E.K.K.A. Um, we're gonna have to find a way to deal with this P.E.K.K.A, guys. I'm gonna use my Ice Golem to see if we can put in work. There's a naked Musketeer down that lane. This The Musketeers will beat this P.E.K.K.A up pretty badly right now. Uh, Logs, not gonna really do too much as this guy gets worked on. All right, not terrible, not terrible, not terrible. I'm gonna get this ready right here. And maybe we can do something crazy. All right, check this out. Check this out right now, guys. This might be the worst play of my life, but it could be the best play of my life. Oh, look at that minion horde. Just decimate that executioner. Did you guys see that defense right there? I have no idea what I did, but it worked, which is what I'm talking about. Getting another collector ready as we enter double elixir is going to be beautiful and a pretty nice game. Pretty nice game so far. Two minutes into this game. We've got one minute before victory is assured, guys. I don't think he really has any direct damage, so I'm just going to play our pump right now and uh, go ahead and do some work. My or Musketeer is going to be doing their thing. Again, it's a little bit... A little bit sweaty playing them all the way in the back like that when we could be facing against Rocket or something similar. Take a look at this push this guy's got going. We've got to go crazy on this side, guys, because I don't know what we're going to do about all these guys over here. Zap's going to go in against this. I've got Goblin Gang, too. I guess we can use this Ice Golem, but this is uh, probably going to die a slow but painful death. And, uh, guys, we're going to get our three Musketeers ready, ready. We did some really good damage against that tower right here. Let's get the three Musketeers ready right now. As soon as all those guys right there lock onto our tower, we can just go ahead and play three Muskies. Actually, I could have minored the King Tower and probably finished off this game, which is sort of sad. But take a look as that miner locks on. We'll go and play our Battle Ram. Okay, he's going to go ahead and protect that. I feel you, bro. I feel you on that defense. Ice Golem's going to go down. Take a look at the Musketeers on the other side. Look at all of this damage that's about to pour in right now. Look at him go right there. Musketeers simply putting some work out. And that's going to be GG. Not the tower you would have thought. You would have thought I wouldn't have gone for the king tower. But we're going to get that second crown with that musketeer push. Well played to Jeremy. And that's going to be another win. Okay. We're getting a little bit better at three musketeers. Dare I say it. We're doing a little bit better than I thought we would. Normally, it's a bloodbath. I'm playing my three musketeers in terrible places. But so far inside of this battle, it's been okay. But we don't have the elixir collector to actually start off this game. So how do we want to do this? Do we want to bleed some elixir? Do we want to do something else? I'm getting my ice golem ready to see what he does. And as he plays his Night Witch, we're just going to get our Ice Golem ready right here. I don't know about cycling our, uh, I don't know about cycling our three Musketeers right now. I feel like it's a pretty interesting decision, but it might be the right decision. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to get the Miner ready right now, see if we can put in some work against this Night Witch. This Goblin's actually going to do its thing a little bit. All right, not the worst play in the world. Ooh, that Goblin got two stabs on that Night Witch, which was crucial. And in fact, I'm just going to get my Elixir Collector ready to try to put some work in on this side of the map. There goes the Miner, so we're going to play a Minion Horde. Should be able to clean this up fairly easily, guys. Let's see what he's going to do. Fireball's going to go down. He's trying to get greedy with that Elixir Collector. But man, this Ice Golem, if it was only a little bit faster. Oh, if that Ice Golem was only a little bit faster, that was GG easy. But instead, that's going to get rocked right there. And we're going to have to let this Goblin Gang run down the lane and put some work in on this tower. All right, guys. We we almost got a cheese right there, but it's going to be okay. I'm going to get my Zap ready for these guys just to make sure we don't take any damage. Goblin Gang ended up putting in work on that tower, but it should have been so much more. And now that we know he has Fireball, obviously the Three Musketeers are in a little bit of trouble there. But we can get the Elixir Collector ready and hopefully make this game just a little bit easier. So here we go. Elixir Collector's out. I think Minion Horde actually does really well against his deck. Actually, he is minor. What am I doing with that? Huh. That's an interesting play. He's going to play his Lava Hound, actually. Wow, this is a fascinating play from my friend right here. All right, well, what do we want to do? I'm going to go ahead and split Three Musketeers. Which is going to be a little bit tough. I mean, obviously, he's got the Fireball, which really could be some big trouble for us. But we're going to let that put in some work right there. Everything's going in. That Night Witch will be distracted long enough for me to get some value out of these uh, beautiful Musketeers right here. Goblin Gang as well putting in some work. Miner's going in. That uh, Miner is just not going to work out, my friend. And these these Musketeers are going to put some nice work right there onto that uh, counter push. There goes the Miner. Bats are going to get zapped down in a moment. Beautifully done. Musketeers are even going to keep shooting the tower as one of them ends up cleaning up the job. Elixir Collector going down again, guys, and a one zap away from winning this game. So, so good. This is exactly what we want. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to get my Battle Ram ready right now to see if we can get a nice little push. Should I play my Minion Horde 2, guys? Really lay down the pain onto Land C right here. He doesn't even know what's coming to him right now. Night Witch is simply going to get popped in a moment. Nice Fireball, actually. I got to give it to him. But guess what? That Fireball means he's completely naked on this side. And uh, that push is dead. That push is dead, guys. The push is dead and gone. Ice Golem to go down to surround these fire spirits. Wow, that's exactly how you want to play some Clash Royale, guys. GG. Absolutely what we wanted. And uh, one more collector. A little push right here. This guy is just toast. Night Witch going in. 
but that'll be the end of the game. Just what we wanted, the beautiful battle ram flying its way towards that tower. Zap's gonna go in to try to make sure we get some crucial damage off. He's not gonna give it to me, so with six seconds left, we're going for the three crown victory, guys. I don't think we're gonna do it, though, as the goblins zoom in on that tower. 214 HP. G. G. Poet and I didn't know it, guys. Three Musketeers, obviously one of the strongest decks inside of Clash Royale for the last bit. If you guys want to try it out, I just picked up three wins and I'm a complete noob. This deck obviously only requires a single Legendary, which is the Miner. You can even substitute in your Knight for the Miner inside of this deck. It isn't 100% necessary, um, but it is nice if you do have it because obviously the Knight is like, or the Miner is like a Knight that can go anywhere on the field. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. Best of luck with three Musketeers inside of this game. Drop a like if you remember when three Musketeers actually used to cost 10 Elixir. And uh, yeah. That's going to do it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.